The number you have dialed has been changed. Warning, this video will contain spoilers and if you have not seen the movie and you are afraid of spoilers, stop watching now. If you haven't seen the film, maybe you shouldn't watch this. Um, if you want to, that's fine, but you might be confused or you, this might make sense. Maybe this might inspire you to go see it. If it's available in your state, I know some movie theaters are not open or you're just not comfortable. That's fine, but I really want to make this video because this movie was just so good and it was so complicated complex that i felt obligated to do a full review and talk about it because it's just so it's just so much so yeah peace and blessings family welcome to no reviews which is where i review tvs movies businesses foods anything that comes to mind today i will be reviewing my first movie review and probably the greatest film that I've seen in 2020 considering there has been no films yet really in the theaters um Tenet now before I even start this um I watched it for the first time last week Tuesday seen it again just yesterday Thursday and I had a better con um, concept or just understanding of the film the second time around so i highly recommend you see it twice maybe even three times because there were still things that i know i didn't pick up on but before i even begin i might ramble a lot because this movie was very confusing not really confusing it was just like there's levels to it so it's like deep it's really heavy so yeah christopher nolan um the guy who created Inception, if you've ever seen that film, I have to see that again because the first time I watched that, I was just in awe. I'm like, wow, okay, this is, this is great. But anyways, Christopher Nolan is a director who, you know, releases a lot of movies that are like very high production. Um, it's like, it messes with the mind, not necessarily messes with the mind, but it gets you thinking. Um, I believe he is the creator of, In of Inception, which was a really good movie that I enjoyed thoroughly and Tenet this is newest film so a little overview of Tenet Tenet is basically um time travel that has not been invented yet but during the time that they're taking place in the movie it's like beginning it's starting so um the main character who they titled the protagonist I cannot recall his name right now we are basically following him in his journey to establishing tenet it's not like it's regular time traveling you know as in going into the future in tenet they actually go back in time so say it's today and they go through these machines and they are able to travel to last week but it won't be exactly like how last week was everything will just be in reverse now it's kind of hard to explain this so that's why i have these videos to show you guys It's, the movie is basically about time traveling and them trying to stop a bad guy from utilizing time traveling um, to end the world, um, to stop future events from happening um, by um, like ending the present. If that makes any sense. Again, I told y'all this movie was really confusing. But, like, it was so good because it was confusing. Like, it really makes you think. It makes you put two and two together. Like, I was I was leaving the theater. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Because this, that, whatever. And I love films that make you think. I love films that make you um, ponder upon what you just saw. It's like, it builds the mind. I just love it. It makes me feel smart, you know. But, yeah. That's pretty much the movie. Um, I loved it because, again, it makes you think. It's not like, a, oh, okay, you've seen it and you probably forget about it. No, you will not forget about that film. That is an unforgettable film. Not only because it was aired and during a quarantine, 2020, when movie theaters are like non-existent at this point, and they will likely go on a bankrupt after this year, but because it was just like, it was just, it's just so mentally stimulating. Like, either it'll be so confusing to the point where it just draws you away because you don't want to think about it. You don't want to, you don't want to 
um, figure it out or like me it's just so mentally sti stimulating that you want to figure your things out you want clarity because I need to know what this mean I gotta know what that mean when he said that I gotta know what that mean because really he's not really talking to himself he's talking to his future self but really the guy who was supposed to be his future self is really just a child it's just it's a lot I know I'm probably rambling again um I was supposed to be a review so um th my review for this film is 10 out of 10 okay I highly recommend you go see this Again, if you are not comfortable, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on demand on something pretty soon because I don't know if it's doing good in the box office right now because there's no movie theaters open. But please go watch it. Um, I would also like to relate something to the teachings every time I watch a movie. If it's like smart or something like that every time I do a review. So in this film, um, they were talking about preventing a war. The war of Armageddon. Which is pretty, you know, if you were in the Nation of Islam, we know about the war of America versus um, Islam, you know. And that's the war of Armageddon, Christianity versus um, Islam. And so that was a pretty they, um, um, nice mention that they put added to that film. And so basically, um, the protagonist, who is the black man, they brought him in and said, so that's what we're trying to do, really, with the group. We're trying to prevent a war, war from happening, even though it wasn't really a war. It was kind of like a psychological war or like the war that was to come. And if they didn't do anything about it right now, as far as the people in the future, the bad guys in the future, they wanted to stop what's happening in the present that will cause or ignite the war in the ongoing years. So yeah something like that i found that very interesting and i found it also interesting that the main character was a black man going in and out of time and being the bold one taking the shot calls and all that type of stuff i, I like that that was pretty dope i don't know if that was like something i missed i'm pretty sure you uh being some scientists out there will mix that up and um figure that one out but yeah that was pretty dope i really love this film again um 10 out of 10 review maybe next time i talk about it i'll have a better way of explaining it but if you've seen it you will understand what i'm saying when i say that it was a lot to just i'm sorry my camera cut off but yeah um i'm gonna stop rambling now and that's all i'm gonna say about the film 10 out of 10 review again i highly recommend you go see this film or wait till it comes out the man and i recommend you also Watch a review or an ending explained video because that really helped put things together because people who are like film fanatics, they know how to piece things together and they know how to animate things and make things make sense because I needed that. <laughs> I needed someone to school me on what I just watched because it was, again, it's just so much. And I unfortunately cannot do that just yet because I'm not a movie. I am a movie fanatic, but I'm not like well-spoken yet you know that's why i'm doing these videos because they they be on it and they know exactly what to say and they know how to explain things but yes <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching um my tenant no reviews this was my first movie review i really enjoyed this um because i really enjoyed that film so um i don't know what other film i'm gonna do um mm, i don't know i might just do like um, disney movies or i might just do like some debate things because we can argue over movies. I mean, really. Um, what do you guys want to see me do next? Um, as far as movies. I have the everything else for reviews, really. But give me some movies I should review. I've never seen... Um, don't judge me. I've never seen none of the Matrix Matrixes. Um, because I, I was like six when they came out. I wasn't watching them when I was six. And now the quality is so bad. I'm just like, it's even worth watching. But if y'all want me to watch it, I'll watch it. Um... A lot of the, again, mid-2000s, early 2000s, 2010 stuff, I was still a child. So if it was some good movies that came out then, especially movies that make you think, let me know so I can watch them and review them. I really love stuff that gets you going. I don't really like scary movies. Um, don't recommend those. Maybe some comedy. If it's like stupid, stupid, I'm not watching that. Don't waste my time. 
Um, I like romantic movies, black romantic movies. I've seen just about all of them, but maybe there's something that I haven't seen. You can recommend that. Um, I love cartoon movies. If you guys ever seen Kubo, A1. Just um, putting that out there. Um, so yeah, let me know what movie I should review. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you please watch Tenet because maybe you can get something out of it that I didn't because you might have a different or better understanding of things than I do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you got something from it. Peace and blessings. Catch you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.